welcome back to part two of my first video so i hear i'm going to show a video of me applying evo dane from bio sculpture so just checking that strengthening square that i applied previously is dry before applying base coat i'm using the bio sculpture base gel using the round six bling brush this is my favorite brush for applying gel i find that it's really easy to use and to get close to the cuticle you get a really neat application with this brush so you just press the gel into the nail plate there on the first layer and then go back and smooth the gel over this is called the gripping and smoothing method taught by bio sculpture i spend quite a bit of time on my base layer just to make sure that it's perfectly smooth because the color will follow if there are any little lumps or bumps in the gel, in the base gel, the colour will mimic those and show it. So just apply a little bead to the free edge there. I then take my Biosculpture Upper Arch brush and just drag the gel back there towards the middle of the nail plate just to build that apex. This again will just create a smoother look once you apply the gel colour clean up any little bits that you get on the skin using the using a wooden stick or the metal stick from Biosculpture and repeat the application of the base layer for all remaining nails. You can also use the upper arch brush just to get right down the side walls and around the cuticle line just to get a really neat close application. I tend to work on two nails at a time for the base layer just so that it doesn't have a chance to move around. And we were also taught that it's not good to leave uncured gel on the nail plate for too long um, as over time this can lead to sensitivities to gel or allergies um, or develop into allergies sorry so i just tend to work on two nails at a time for the base layer and then cure after two nails I always work on the thumbs separately um, just because then you can put them in the lamp flat and the gel won't drip down the side walls at all. Once I've applied my base layer I then take the jewel cleanse from Biosculpture. I use this for wiping away a tacky layer just because it does dry a bit quicker than the multi cleanse. Um, so just wipe each of your nails there and wipe the base gel on each of the nails and this will just allow the Evo gel to apply nice and smoothly, no streaks or lines. So take your colour there, clean off the neck of the brush, wipe away one side of the brush and begin applying the gel. With Evo gel, you have to sort of hold the brush and hover it over the nail there. Don't press down, just gently hover and pull down. Push your way up towards the cuticle and just pull down really gentle strokes and the streaks even themselves out after a few seconds. Thank you. 
and just remember to cap the free edge there. I work on the four fingers when I'm applying colour. Um, do one hand, one hand, then I work, then I move on to the thumbs. Then move on to your second coat. Same steps again, just hover the gel over the nail there, gently pull down and let the streaks even themselves out. Work as closely to the cuticle and side walls as you can without flooding them. piece of fluff or dirt or dust gets into the gel just take your orange stick or metal stick and just pick it out of the gel and then just brush over that area again just try to apply the color as evenly as possible Now with Dane, I do apply three coats of colour just to make sure that it's really solid and there's no areas where it's a bit more transparent um, just because I find this colour can apply like that sometimes. Not always, depends what kind of look we're going for, but here we wanted a solid opaque um, finish. So just apply that third coat there on each nail. Make sure to keep the layers quite thin, um, you don't want to have a really thick, bulky finish. Then move on to top coat. I tend to use the Biosculpture Evo Gloss top coat. It's super shiny, um, doesn't really pick up any stains, which is always great. Um, so just clean off the neck of the bottle, wipe one side of the brush and just begin applying the top coat there. Try not to apply this too thickly. Um, you don't want it to flood the cuticles or side walls there. So just sort of apply it quite thin, gentle strokes and cap the free edge. And again, just repeat this for each nail.
then take my small black file again and just file the skin and the underneath of the nail just to make sure there's no gel left on the skin around the nails or attaching the thread of the nail to the fingertip there because that can be quite annoying for the client and they'll feel the need to start picking that um, so just I just go around the edge of the nail and the free edge and just make sure there's no gel left underneath there and um, also if there are any little sort of blobs or bits kind of sticking out on the edge of the nail you can just gently file them away be careful not to go all the way down to the base layer Then take multi-cleanse on a lint-free wipe and just wipe over the nail plate there. And here we have super shiny, healthy nails, um, fresh gel application, and we are ready for the finishing products. So today I'm using the Way Squat Scalp and Body Scrub. I love this scrub for finishing off my manicures. It's super hydrating, really does exfoliate away any dead skin cells there. Um, it's really gentle, so it doesn't irritate the client's hand at all. And it smells amazing. And just apply your cuticle oil of choice. I'm using the Cuticle MD from LM, which contains 10 different oils, so it's super hydrating. And the White Company hand cream in scent Seychelles, but you can use any hand cream. Um, once I've applied my oil and creams, I then go over the nails with the towel and just sort of wipe over them just to bring that shine back because the cream can dull down the nails a bit. And here you can see the difference um, after using the scrub, oil and cream compared to before. The skin looks super soft, glowy, dewy, healthy. There's not a single bit of dead skin there. Um, it's all been exfoliated away and the skin looks plumped, hydrated and it just leaves the client with a nice finish to end their luxury manicure.